President Zelensky, dear Volodymyr, Prime Minister Shmihal, dear Dennis, ministers, dear colleagues, I know I speak on behalf of the whole College of Commissioner when I say that this visit is like no other. Today we have come to the heart of Europe because Ukraine has become the center of our continent. The place where our values are upheld, where our freedom is defended, where the future of Europe is written. Almost the entire college of the European Commission has come to Kyiv today because we want to write that future together with you. And allow me to begin by honoring the memory of those who should have been with us today if Russia's war had not tragically taken them from us. The Minister of Interior, Denis Monastirsky, First Deputy Minister, Yevgeny Yenin, State Secretary, Yuri Lubkovichis, among others who lost their lives. And the best way to honor their memory is through action, by turning their dream into reality. Today's visit is more than a meeting between officials. It is one family coming together. Together we want to open a window to a brighter future, while the present is incredibly hard and demanding. Russian missiles keep being shot at your cities. The Ukrainian people and the armed forces keep fighting bravely for their freedom and their homeland. So the great question we must tackle is how we get from today's dark reality to Ukraine's bright future inside the European Union. How we can support Ukraine's struggle for freedom and for Europe. We know that we can never match your sacrifice. But the most immediate answer is that we in the European Union must continue to step up the pressure on Russia. Our measures are hitting at the core of Russia's economy. Russia's gas revenues from Europe have fallen by two-thirds compared to pre-war levels. But of course, our support for Ukraine goes way beyond sanctions. My colleagues and I are here today not only to discuss further support, but also the next steps to bring Ukraine even closer to the European Union. The fact that we are meeting here today in Kyiv is a strong sign of the huge progress already made and of our mutual commitments. Only one year ago, no one could have imagined how fast Ukraine could move towards the European Union. But now you are a candidate to joining our Union. I know that millions of Ukrainians are working hard for that goal. We have many Ukrainians that we host in the European Union. Our energy grids are synchronized. And thanks to the solidarity lanes, Ukrainian farms and industries are getting vital revenues by trading with Europe and through Europe. Today, for instance, we come with a set of proposals to ensure Ukraine's seamless access to the European single market. We want to help Ukraine mobilize its full economic potential in the fight against Russia and later for reconstruction. Investors around the world are looking at this country with admiration. And they are also looking at what still needs to happen. Our meeting today should also be a message to investors. Ukraine will advance on its European path. You have an ambitious reform agenda. Not only because Europe asks for it, but because Ukrainians know 
that the path towards the European Union also leads to a stronger Ukraine. Dear colleagues in the government and in the College of Commissioners, I will never ever forget the day when Ukraine became candidate country. The day when the European flag was brought into the Ukrainian parliament in a solemn ceremony amid thunderous applause. It was a new beginning for Ukraine, but it was also a new beginning for the European Union. Your courage has inspired us. You have given us a new sense of purpose. Europe is with you for as long as it takes. Until the day when the Ukrainian flag will be raised where it belongs, in Brussels, in front of the Berlimont, at the heart of the European Union. Slava, Ukraine.